Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will explain how to create a global Keep in Touch event that can be assigned to a group of contacts. Some examples of where you might want to take advantage of a global Keep in Touch event include a client appreciation event like a summer barbecue or fireworks party, or an educational event like a real estate seminar. Setting up a global Keep in Touch event allows you to plan the event by creating a series of tasks that need to be completed prior to the event date. Each task will appear in your task list with the applicable due date, and if you like, you can be sent an automatic reminder. Upon selecting the contacts to invite to the event, Exact Contact allows you to easily send them personalized correspondence related to the event. To create a global Keep in Touch event, start by clicking Keep in Touch in the main menu, and then Above the list titled Configure Keep in Touch Events, click the link Create New Event. Start by entering the name of the event. You can also enter the event description, but this is optional. Then enter the date of the event and the time. If you like, you can also indicate that the event is an all-day event. You then have the choice of whether to include the event in your calendar and your task list. If you opt to include it in your task list, you can set up an automatic reminder a number of days prior to the event at a time of your choosing. You have the option to set the event as recurring using similar recurrence options as you see in a calendar appointment. However, keep in mind that if you set the event to recurring, you can only enter a series of tasks to be completed prior to the event if it is recurring annually. I am not gonna set this event as recurring. After entering the event information, to enter each task to be completed prior to the event, start by clicking the Add Event Task link above the event task list. Enter the name of the task and the number of days prior to the event date that it needs to be completed. And if you like, you can indicate whether you want a task reminder for the task in your task list, the number of days prior to the event date, you would like the task, uh, you, sorry, you would like the reminder and the time that you want to be sent the reminder. and click Save when done. And repeat these steps until you have entered all the required tasks to carry off the event. After entering all of the event tasks for your event, you can now assign a group of contacts to the event. Note that contacts can also be individually assigned after the event has been created. We will discuss this option in a few moments. To assign the initial group of contacts to the event, start by clicking the link, choose contacts who are participating in this event above the contacts assigned list. You can use either the simple or the advanced search options in order to search for and select contacts to include in your event. I'm gonna select a number of contacts using the simple search and click the Select Contacts button at the bottom of the pop-up in order to assign them to the event. And I have selected seven contacts for the event. If you have contacts that were not originally assigned to the event and you wish to add them afterwards, you can either open the event and reselect the assigned contacts, or you can add a contact directly in the contact record. I'm gonna save the event and there's my new event in my list with seven contacts assigned. And in order to assign an additional contact to the event, I'm gonna open the contact record from my contact pane, go to the Keep in Touch tab, the contact specific Keep in Touch tab, and under the list titled Keep in Touch Events Available to All Contacts, for the events I just created, I'm going to check the box, include contact in event, in order to add 
this contact to the contact list for the event. And the contact is added. Now, if I return to the event, by returning to the keep in touch area and click the event name in order to open it and scroll to the bottom of the page, you can see that the contact assigned has gone from seven, my initial distribution list, sorry, my initial contact list up to eight. Once an event is set up and the contacts are, are assigned, it is easy to send personalized correspondence to all of the assigned contacts. To create a personalized letter inviting each contact to the event, return to the global event list and click the Create Letters Labels icon next to the event name in the Configure Keep in Touch Events list. Then you can either select an existing letter template, you can create a new letter or create letters and label or, or create letters and labels for the contacts assigned to the event. If I cre click create new letter, you can see that my eight contacts are pre-selected for my letter. You can also send the contacts assigned to the event an email in much the same way. Simply return to the keep in touch list and it, next to the event name in the list, click the create email icon and if I click create new email, there it says that with seven contacts have been pre-selected for the email. And the reason it didn't select all eight is that one of them uh, does not have an email address on their contact record. You now know how to use exact contact to create and manage a global keep in touch event.